the real story. No sugar coating. What does Spirit have for y'all today? you've been here before welcome back if this is your first time here i'm happy to have you guys as always take what resonates leave the rest if it's not your story this time it's okay i will cut you on another one just want to take a minute to cleanse my space with any negative energy holy spirit angels ancestors benevolent spirits please protect me as i channel these messages for the collective please deny any outside interference not divinely orchestrated um You'll have to excuse my background noise today because I'm in the, I got my dogs in here, my children are running around and it's going to be noisy, but I'm going to try to speak up so y'all can hear me because I was sitting on the couch minding my business and yes, yeah, Spirit basically told me to get my ass up and come do a reading. So here we are. All right. Um... Spirit, what do you have for my collective today, please? All right. So the first thing that I saw when I picked this deck up, I saw to be continued. To be continued. I'm hearing something about a Looney Tune. This reminds me of the Looney Tune thing. If y'all watched that when y'all were younger, um, and it says the cliffhanger. So I'm assuming that's like the fool, like taking the risk. You could be seeing the number 1212. 12. That could be significant. For somebody. Um, but yeah. I don't know why I was drawn to this deck. But I was, so that's what we're going to use. So what do you have for my collective, please? What do you have for my collective, please, sir? <laughs> let's try again all right so we got the caregiver somebody's holding somebody's heart in their hand somebody cares about somebody i'm getting like one person um one person really cares. No, I, I'm getting both people really care, but somebody is making sure the other is okay. Somebody's making sure the other is okay. You got the bachelorette. Somebody might be single here. You could be seeing 333. King of Mirrors, the intellectual one. Okay, and then we got the single mom in reverse, queen of rings. Somebody does not want to have children here, right? I'm honestly getting like a bachelor and a bachelorette that are drawn to each other, but I don't, I don't think that either one of you guys have kids, right? So that's what I'm getting. Somebody who wants to come in and make you their child's mother, but never, never wants to leave. You better not touch that. But doesn't want to ever see you as a single mom. So this is somebody, the caregiver. I'm, literally, this is somebody that wants to come in and swoop you up, take care of your heart, 
make you the mother of their children. And this person's very smart. We got the intellectual. This is like a business thing. All right, yeah, the host. You see that? Can you see that man? Here and then here. The intellectual. It's like a man holding his glasses. So whoever this is, this is somebody that works hard. You can be seeing the number 555. Somebody that works hard for his money. Or somebody that's like, a, he might not work hard. He might be like a businessman. Hold on, y'all. Sorry, y'all. That was my baby. So, yeah. So, we got fresh meat out here. So, I'm getting them, like, basically, they're like, take you off the meat market. Like, no more fresh meat. It's in reverse. Like, no. None of y'all niggas can't have, have her. She's mine. I'm claiming that. And then we got group date in reverse. Um, sent home. It's like it's up, this person is gonna just come out of left field and just knock off. Like I'm hearing, <laughs> get rid of your hoes. Like that's what I'm hearing. Like he's like, you don't need any of them other ninjas that you was talking to before because I'm that one. Like that type energy. the lovers yeah and you find this person very attractive so you're with it like i'm saying you all with it like you're for it this person might set up a first date that has to do with it. okay so maybe fourth of july i don't know but something about fireworks on the date The producer plan. And leap of faith in reverse. What is this, spirit? I'm, I'm getting don't listen to your friends. I'm hearing that song, Hancho, your friends. Um... He's like basically, so like I'm getting a friend of yours in your ear, like saying, no, like don't like don't give this person a chance. I'm getting that they're jealous, right? And they want you to not take this leap of faith towards somebody that they they know is probably good for you. Don't listen to your friends. I'm seeing a side eye. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, so the song basically goes like, um, something with you with your friends, I don't like them. Um, now one of them got a man, now one of them got a plan. Ain't none of them fucking with you. None, none of them drive a band or something like that. It's basically like, a man that's coming into a, a female's life and he's trying to let her know like her friends ain't shit like this particular friend i'm not saying your friends ain't shit i'm saying this particular friend that's going to be in your ear telling you not to jump out on a limb you know what i mean and take this guy seriously he sees through this person um i'm getting like this person would be throwing themselves at uh at him like trying to throw the cookies at them. Um, but yeah, basically, so don't let, like, your low vibrational friends keep you from your husband type shit. That's what I'm getting. Um, all right, what else, Derek? Sorry, I had to like close the windows and the door because my kids were being so loud. Had to get my space situated. The Emperor and Ace of Cups as I split the deck. New love, emotional awakening, fulfillment, fatherhood. Didn't I tell you this person was going to try it? Listen, they want you to have their baby. Authority, structure. Emperor.
Six of Swords, moving away from trauma, transition, better days, relief. And then we got, the, so the high priest is in reverse out here and the devil in reverse. Um, I'm feeling like somebody is, okay. Even though this bachelorette, like, like I'm getting somebody has their shit together, right? But they're kind of like tired of doing shit by themselves. It's like, it gets you down sometimes. And you just wish that somebody would come and take some of the weight off your back. You've been through trauma. You know, you've transitioned into a place where you're okay and you're you're in a good situation financially and um, and all that. But it's kind of like you just want relief sometimes. Like you just don't want to have to do it all yourself. Sometimes you get depressed about it and you get lonely. We got the devil in reverse. So I'm getting like when this person comes in, it's going to be a big release. You're going to have some freedom. Maybe you won't have to work as much. Restoring like a like a balance, um, like a, a harmonial balance in your life. It's almost like um, getting your core right, right? Four of Cups. At first, you're going to be skeptical. You're going to be contemplating whether or not you should give this person a chance. Don't listen to your friends. I'm telling you. Which is be jealous. Eight of Pentacles. Um, yeah, Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah. yeah. So, like, Eight of Pentacles came out here. Um, so, yeah, what I was saying, you might be skeptical of this person at first, and you might, like, be contemplating whether or not you should give them a shot. Um, you're kind of just, like, you're sitting there with your, <laughs> I'm seeing you just sitting there with your arms folded, like, another nigga like what do you want <laughs> right but then eight of pentacles this person's gonna kick up and show you literally like they're gonna come in and show you that they're all about you how show you how invested they're gonna be in you um not only that i'm getting that they're gonna speak to your mindset like teaching you how to invest and like grow your money um and kind of just sit back and watch your money grow without you having to do work that's what i'm getting um yeah all right what else there The sun in reverse. Negativity, depression, sadness, false positivity. And then we got the strength card. I'm getting like you're feeling like this is going to be too good to be true. False posit positivity. It's like... Basically, that's that mindset. Like, you're feeling like it's, this is too good to be true. Like, this can't be real. Spirit wants you to realize, like, sometimes when you focus on the negative, right, you'll lose out on something. The emperor is out here twice. And then we got four and eight. Protection and abundance. 
there's nothing but good things out here. And I feel like sometimes we focus on negative um, aspects of somebody and it's kind of like, like when something, okay, so this is a perfect example. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. This is a perfect example of trauma bonding, right? We tend to go towards things that feel um, like things we're used to, even if they're toxic. But in this situation, something's presenting itself to you and it's nothing but positive. So you start to nitpick things that can be negative and it's like, Self-sabotage, that's really what it is. Self-sabotage. Spirit is sending you an emperor. Somebody with emotional intelligence. Somebody who has their shit together. Somebody that can help you thrive and grow. Somebody that can uplift you. And we still will nitpick and, and point out every little negative thing to make it easier to detach when there's no reason to detach. And that's a lesson here. This is a spiritual lesson about self-sabotage. What else, spirit? I keep getting like three and four cards. I just want to like do my reading. All right. Um, Nine of Wands in reverse. Recovery. No fight left. Stalemate. Retreat. I'm hearing you always want to learn the hard way. You have no fight left in you. Right? And you just want this recovery and this retreat. You just want to like be able to relax and get some of this burden off your back. But when we send you a blessing, you take it for granted and you sabotage it. And why do we do that? Fear. We do that because we're scared of change. Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Ten of Wands is burdens in reverse. In reverse, there it's nine of wands and then ten of wands, literally back to back. Let somebody take some of the load off of your back. Let them do it. Don't push them away. All right, I'm gonna switch decks. Um, One of my dogs is knocked out and snoring. Like, can you hear them breathing in the background? Sounding crazy. Eleven, eleven could be significant. You could be saying that. That means new beginnings. Okay. Sweet memories. Dried flower fairy. Okay. So this is what this is giving me. You can sometimes when new things come, it can be like bittersweet, right? because we have to let go of the old way. We're scared of change. And this is another part of self-sabotage that I was talking about. Let the sweet memories be memories, okay? Dried flower, 
past is no longer living. It's no longer thriving. It's, it's time to move on and be a new blossom, right? Leave the dried flower fairy, which is, because this is a fairy deck, right? So they're all fairies, angels or whatever. It's basically saying, leave the past you in the past and hold on to the memories. It's okay. It's okay to step into your new era. You can be scared, but if you don't, if you don't move on with your life, there's no growth, there's no abundance, there's no prosperity. 2020, somebody could be the age of 20, you could be seeing 2020. Fairy of the Highlands, it's time to be brave. It's time to be brave, boo. Literally, she looks terrified. She has her little sword and she looks like she's going into battle and she's like, oh my God, am I really about to do this? Look at her, she looks terrified. It's time to be brave, though. Spirit's got you, 4488, you're protected. This is the journey to your abundance. Wait a minute. <gasps> That's crazy, so I didn't even recognize this, right? This card right here is Four of Cups, this card is Eight of Pentacles, four, eight. This card right here is the Emperor, this card right here is Strength, four, eight. The number four, the number eight. The number four, the number eight. Somebody can be the age of 48, but the numbers four and eight mean protection and abundance. Stepping into your fated destiny. You are literally surrounded by angels. I'm gonna have to make this short too because my kids are out there acting up. Oh, they out there cutting up, tearing out my house. All right, three witchy sisters, the power of three. You could be seeing 333 as well, 999. Um. Why this is significant though? Who are these? Who are these women? And why are they in here? Faceless ghost and the haunted girl. Ghost people. So you have spirit guides all around you. I just said, literally, you have you're protected by spirits, by angels. They're all around you. Amara the Menahune, Aloha Healing. Hello Healing. You're stepping into a healing phase. But you're sad about it. It's bittersweet. Ten, closing on the cycle. Eclipse mermaid, a powerful energy shift. And we just had the, that eclipse a few months ago. Something closed out with that eclipse. Yeah. All right. Um, how will the collective know who this person is? That's what I want. How will the collective know who this is and be able to recognize them? Eight of Wands. 
somebody's very passionate. Um, this could be a cultural thing. Somebody who shows um, everybody how they feel about you. So the cups, yeah. This person could be of a darker skin tone than you. Ten of Wands in reverse again. Somebody who lifts your burdens. Hush. Relax, bro. My dog is getting ready to go off for no reason whatsoever. The Hierophant, someone who's very spiritual. Um, someone, this person could practice yoga or uh, Reiki, meditate a lot. Four of Pentacles, somebody who doesn't hold back. Four of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody who doesn't hold back. Um, it's like this person is like an open book. Ask me anything. I, I have no secrets from you. Like, this person has nothing but good intentions for you. Queen of Swords. Not scared to, to cut anybody off or tell anybody about themselves when it comes to you. Somebody could be LGBTQ. This person makes you feel complete. This person makes you feel like you're at home. Like your inner child just comes out and you're with them. And you feel like you're floating on top of the world. <laughs> I know that's cliche, but literally that's what I'm getting. You just feel free with this person. That's too many spirit, like three flipped over. Let me get one more. This person could have dark hair. Like I said, dark hair, darker skin tone than you. Page of Pentacles. Why Page of Pentacles? Okay, so this person kind of wants you to know, like, they don't care about your finances. They don't care. They don't care if you're broke. Like, they don't care about that shit. That's not what they're here for. Like, you don't have to make plans to better your future unless that's what you want to do. It's kind of like, they got you. Like, it's like, I'm... Now I'm seeing somebody like doing a trust fall. Like, just trust me, I got you. Eight of, excuse me, eight is out here again. The strength card came out again in reverse. It's okay to be in your, in your feminine energy. This person wants you to be okay with letting your guard down and being vulnerable. Eight is all over this board. Eight is the number of abundance. So, like, this was meant. This is destined. Um, anything else that the collective needs to know? Anything else that the collective needs to know?
See that? Union. The top says integration, union. You're both looking at the light, like you're sun gazing. So y'all both are spiritual. And I just hurt my nail. And I feel like somebody's gonna be fucking angry about this. Somebody's gonna be angry about this union. Of course. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn could be upset about this. An Earth sign. Somebody initials could be, first and last initial could be the letter A. Somebody first and last initial could be the letter C. Somebody first and last initial could be the letter E. Confusion, illusions, rose-colored glasses. I'm being taken back to this friend of yours again. If you have a friend that's an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, be very wary of that person. Just watched something yesterday about secret enemies. Yeah, this person has some inner child healing that they need to do where they don't want people, um, it's almost like they don't want anybody around them to do better than they are. In love, in finances, in anything. So anytime that you can say something to this person about something that's going good in your life, it's kind of like, you never get the reaction that you want out of them. Um, yeah, closed off, guarded, resistance. It's like... They just, you never get what the reaction you think you're going to get from them. Right? Yeah, expectations. <laughs> Yeah, you could never just be happy for me. Celebration, abundance, gifts. You can never just be happy for me. That person can never just be happy for you. Why you always got something negative to say? This is that that little person. That person that says, oh, your little business that you got going. Oh, you got your little car. That, that person. Avoidance, stalemate. I feel like once you get with this person and you start doing better and they start seeing that you're doing better than them, they're going to avoid you. And then you're going to realize that they were like a friend. But fuck it. Good riddance. Yeah. Sun, strength, empowerment. On to bigger and better. And then they're going to try to turn around and apologize and ask for your forgiveness and try to be on your energy again because they're... This is an energy vampire, too. Separation, longing. Yeah. You could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fuck this person. That's how I feel about it. You can't be happy for me, then you don't need to be in my energy. Period. Period. That's how I Anything else, Kurt? Something so right about that. Period. <laughs> right? I just want to get a couple closing messages and then I'm going to let y'all go about y'all business. All right, let's see.
Chakras loaded and ready. Zen as fuck. Not letting nothing bother you. I'm feeling like you ready to be in alignment. Like, and anybody who is not on that vibrational plane can shut the fucking pieces. What else, sir? Fresh out of fucks and embracing inner peace. Facts. <laughs> it says the wine is helping. So somebody could like their wine. I know I love my wine. Um, this is VA Splash, but wine definitely, <laughs> wine definitely is necessary sometimes. Um, the path to inner peace begins with the four words, not my fucking problem. Facts. Let the crazy ass shit go. I'm feeling like every time you're around this person too, some crazy shit goes on. Or some, you just have that one friend that like, you know how you, you're with them and you just like, some crazy shit always pop off. Like, how come every time I'm with you, we end up at the police station or like, something about the fight or like anything. Like, I just feel like this person attracts fucking negative energy. Just negative shit. Let that crazy shit go. This hating ass bitch. You got a hating ass friend. I don't like that. Um, some of y'all might need to do like a cord cutting ritual or like just announce to the universe that you let anybody go because Spirit sees what's being said behind your back. So, uh, Spirit sees what's being um, said behind your back. So, it's like they know who's good for you and who's not. Take a hint from a sloth. Slow down. Yeah, the crazy shit got to go. Like, you're not on that rip and run in the streets fucking energy anymore like maybe when you were young but now like some people just don't want to grow up they want to stay low vibrational for fucking ever like bitch we grown like bitch has got bills to pay and shit i can't be living in my fucking streets with you all that damn day the fuck he was frank with me so this person is going to be very honest with you the um the male figure or masculine figure that's coming into your life. Um, YOLO. And you only live once. I want to get one more. Don't just do something, sit there. Yeah, like sit your ass down somewhere. Surf the serenity. It's kind of like, spirit is leading me to believe that there's low vibrational people that are trying to keep you down in a low vibrational plane. And you're just like, kind of trying to isolate yourself from that shit. To become more fluid, add wine. <laughs> to chill, try an ice cube. <laughs> Yeah, like, I just want to sit in the house and drink my wine and <laughs> be here in the now. Be here in the now. Come on, inner peace. I don't have all day. Like, facts. Facts. All right, I'm going to close this shit out because, yeah, I'm tired. And I got to go see what my babies are doing. But I appreciate y'all, all y'all love, support, likes, comments, subscribes, um, and shares. Don't forget you can book a reading with me at vixentara66 at gmail.com. Just um, email me there and I will get back to you. I'm going to close it up and I love y'all. Bye.